They don't call it the Big Island for nothing. And all the other Hawaiian islands combined can fit in the area of the Big Island. I'm gonna be talking about today what I think are the four best places to live on the west side of the Big Island. Aloha, I'm Stephen Prosky, a real estate broker here on the Big Island at Corcoran Pacific Properties in Kailua, Kona. Welcome to my Ohana. Ohana means family. On my channel, I talk about real estate, moving tips, and information about the Big Island. If this is why you are here, thank you. And could you hit the subscribe button so we could stay connected? With the island being so large, where do you start? How do you find the right community? How do you know if they'll be right for you and your family? Where are all the doctors and veterinarians? Where are the hospitals? Are the schools good? What are your must-haves? Can I afford to buy a home here? These are all things to consider, seriously. I'm being shady -ish. The west side of the Big Island, also known as the Kona side, it is considered to be the dry side of the island because it does not rain as often as the Hilo side of the island. Another reason why it's so popular is because of the white sand beaches, golf courses, shopping, and dining opportunities. It is by far the most popular side of the Big Island since it is home to some of the world's renowned resorts like the Four Seasons at Hulua Lai Lai and the Amberge at Manolani. When choosing where to relocate on the west side, there are four main towns that I think you should consider. There are plenty of opportunities when looking for a small town life and to get a Hawaiian feel. Kailua Kona is the main town on the west side of the island, also known as Kona Town. Roughly, there are 20,000 people that call this area home. Kona sits on the mountainside of Halua Lai Lai and you will find plenty of natural diversity because of the elevation, location, and weather patterns. Besides Kona itself, one of my favorite communities is Halualoa, a peaceful and tranquil small town that is home to loads of coffee farms, art galleries, and coffee shops. The annual Kona Coffee Festival takes place there each fall every year. Being situated about 1,500 feet above sea level, this small town has outstanding panoramic ocean views, not to mention cooler climates. A few favorites in the community worth considering is Kona Vistas, which is centrally located with an elevation between 400 and 800 feet. Residents enjoy stunning ocean views, community tennis, and a pavilion for hosting private events. Conveniently located within three miles of downtown Kona, and 20 miles to the airport. If you're looking for more of a custom home or gated community, well, places like Hokalia and Keahua Estates offer the best custom built homes with sweeping views of the coastline, many with private swimming pools, large living spaces, and oversized lanais. Not to mention Hokalia is a private golfing community with a Jack Nicholas signature 18 hole golf course to enjoy. Next is Waikoloa and Waikoloa Village. The Waikoloa Village area is centrally located on the west side of the island and is close to just about everything. You are within 20 to 30 minutes drive up and down the coast from most all the popular beaches, shopping, and restaurants. The village is a small community with several restaurants, shops, gas station, and continues to grow commercially. The composition of the community is mostly single family homes and condominiums. The village offers a community center and a swimming pool for everyone living there to enjoy, plus an 18 hole public golf course. It is very dry area of the island and does get a significant amount of wind year round. Yes, this place can be quite breezy, but the winds keep the air clear and cools your home. With the winds, you also get dust, so you need to keep that in mind if you're considering this area. Now, the Waikoloa Beach Resort area is situated on the coastline, only six miles west of Waikoloa Village, and offers mostly condominiums and townhouse living. Since there are two resorts within the community, it is primarily occupied by tourists all the time. If you like resort-style living, this could be a great place for you since it offers two golf courses, loads of restaurants and shops in two different plazas, beach access within walking distance, 
And did I say some great petroglyphs to explore? Yes, my favorite place to eat is Lava Lava Beach Club because the food is outstanding and you're right on the beach with your dining experience. My next choice of places to consider is Waimea. Located inland at an elevation of about 2,600 feet above sea level, Waimea is a bustling town filled with grocery stores, lots of great restaurants, art galleries, local gift shops, plus much more. Recognized for its rolling green hills, Waimea is nature's lover's paradise. Year-round residents and vacationers can also enjoy the multitude of shops this community has to offer. While Waimea is located inland, close to the private luxury communities of Kohala by the Sea and Camuela is a short drive for some of the most beautiful beach spots on the island has to offer. Waimea has two parts, a wet and a dry side. The dry side boasts ocean and sunset views, while the wet side gets about 65 inches of rain annually. It can be a bit chilly in Waimea based upon the elevation, winds, along with the rain. Waimea is about 50 minutes north of Kona, 20 minutes to the beaches, 45 minutes to Hilo, and has some world-class restaurants in town like Merriman's and Fish and Hog. Waimea is also home to the world-famous Parker Ranch. Rounding out my four best places to live on the west side of the island is Captain Cook. Captain Cook is known for its lush greenery and stunning ocean views. Captain Cook is a small town located about 15 miles south of Kona. As an historic community, there are many landmarks in this area, for it was named after the first European explorer, Captain James Cook, who was killed here shortly after his arrival. Aww. Come on, man. Captain Cook attracts many for its great location and gorgeous hilly properties that overlook the ocean. Captain Cook is about 1,200 feet above sea level and enjoys cool tropical breezes year round along with some nice tranquil daily rains. Those searching for a big island home that encompasses privacy and tranquility should look at Captain Cook. My favorite community is Kona Paradise, and the views from these home sites is spectacular. If you are considering Captain Cook as an option to reside, please keep in mind most of the homes in that area are on catchment water systems, and there are very few condominiums to purchase in this area. Hope this information was helpful in giving you a snapshot of my four best places to live on the west side of the Big Island. There are other places, however, I find these are the most affordable. Please check out my video on moving to Hawaii, seven reasons why people are moving here. Thanks again for watching, and if you need any assistance, reach out anytime, I'm here to help you. Aloha.